joined by Michael Chandler, one of our favorite fighters in the world. Always exciting, everybody. Uh, a lot of heat right now on Bellator. It's a good time to be a part of the Bellator organization. Got in on the ground floor, uh, helped build this organization. A reason for people to tune in and uh, show people that uh, it's not about one brand. How cool does that feel? It's great, man. And, you know, and I think it's been one of the most symbiotic win-win situations um, in the sport. You know, I think. I, I've been with Bellator literally since the beginning. I was a guy who came out as a Division One wrestler, um, coincidentally wrestled for or fought for Scott Coker once or twice in Strike Force, and then came to a crossroads where I was going to sign my first major deal with an organization. Decided to instead of Strike Force, I decided to take a chance on Bellator. Went there, fought for the you know fought through the tournament, beat Eddie Alvarez for the title, got ranked up top five, top three in the world, and then you know been fighting and had a little rough patch, and then but but through it all. Have always had Bellator's back, and Bellator has always had my back. So it's been a, it's been an interesting, fun ride that that just really feels right. You know, I think when I look back on my career, I'm gonna I'm gonna really think, man, those years and and in the good times they stuck by me and I stuck by them. And I and I, there's no doubt that I'm always going to step into the cage and I'm gonna put on a show. You know, it's I, I so I so much appreciate you saying, you know, one one of the, your guys' favorite fighters in the world because that's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to perform and I'm here to I'm here to go out there and put on a show and and. And prove to people that with hard work, determination, you can go out there and, and achieve whatever you want. So it's been a great ride and uh, big things in the future. You, you say rough patch, uh, but what we've learned from, from a lot of fighters, that's where the growth comes from. That's where you, you get to be the best in the world and recognize as the best in the world because you deal with those things that you maybe didn't anticipate or and then you get to make those adjustments to, to be the, the fighter that you are today. Yeah, you know, and it's and it's just so funny too because I, I went 688 days without a win. You know, that's, that's a long time, three fights in a row. Um, I was 12-0 and 0 before that, 10 finishes, seven in the first round. So I was extremely dominant. Then I hit a rough patch for 688 days, and and that kind of valley, you know, when the when the sun is shining and you're and you're at the peak and you're at the top, things are easy, you know. Life is easy. Your thoughts are positive. Your everything's flowing. Your practices are going good. But down in the in the in the trenches, in the mud and the muck, when the negativity hits you, when when the sponsors drop you, when your pay goes down, that's when you really have to flex that faith muscle, you know. And for me, just surrounding myself with ridiculous people in my life, man. You know, uh, one of my good buddies is here is with me, Chris Patterson, mentor of mine, uh, a guy that I aspire to be like. My managers, uh, Randall Allman and Dave Martin, my wife. Literally, you know, after that third fight, we sat, we went home to San Diego, sat on the couch, cr couch, and cried together. And and that was where the the true growth came from. That was where it was well, like well. It's not about you know making it to the top. It's about how 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 high you're going to bounce off the bottom, and, and that's really where I was. 688 days without a win, and it was a rough patch. But here I am, champion again, and, and it just goes to show that no matter how how tough times are, you're just one handshake away from your next big deal, or your next. You're just right around the corner from from making it to where you want to be. And here I am, and life is good. Whether you were in San Diego or you're in Florida, you. Uh whether you're in San Diego or you're in Florida, you're surrounded by the best people out there. Uh, during those times, I'm sure you had some of the best people in the world st still come up to you and say, you're the man, you're, you're, your skill's incredible, just keep doing what you're doing, uh, the fans are gonna rally behind you. Yeah, and that's the thing, and, and, and one of the wor or one of the kind of quotes that I live by is, is that it's not that we don't do the right things, it's just that we don't do the right things long enough. You know, maybe it's, maybe you haven't worked hard enough to, to get that breakthrough that you really want. Maybe, maybe, you, you you are in a season where you just need to keep showing that that faith and that and that persistence and that stick to itness to be able to achieve what you want to achieve and that's that's really what I had to do and and, and through it all I I really have tried my darndest to, to surround myself with people that are going to build me up people with a like mind um, that, that same like mindedness the same goals and and unfortunately sometimes quite frankly just cut people out of my life that that are that are a detriment that are that are kind of just you know the taking the wind out of my sails you know people are going to either be the wind in your sails or the or the anchor holding you back and and those I, I cut I'm cutting anchors left and right and I've gotten to the point where right now every single person in my life serves a purpose and it's a positive purpose purpose and uh, we're all here building together you know I, I just uh, am starting this amazing relationship with Dimatized Nutrition and, and all these guys here and Annie and Alberto and, and Andreas and, and Rosa and, and Scott and these guys it's it's a family atmosphere and, and it's and it's companies like that it's it's teams like that that you know you stick with and they're with you through the thick and the thin and it's uh it's cool to see them here uh, promoting this event and sponsoring this event so that's what it's all about it's about relationships and it's about 
becoming the best version of yourself. So, When you think about uh, the biggest fights that you can uh, have in, in Bellator, uh, do you think about those things or you wait for the promoters to come to you or it's like, hey, I have a great idea. What about this? Uh, you know, the good thing is, you know, every now and then I think I have a good idea, you yeah. know, but sometimes good ideas can't actually transpire, you know. Uh, but the good thing is, man, at the helm, you got Scott Coker and, and, and Rich Chu, and then at Viacom, Kevin Kay and John Slusser and Fishman and Sarnowski, those guys, man, they're, they are some of the brightest minds in television and fight promotion and some of the most genuine, great, great hearted people in the entire world. So it's not easy all the time. You get antsy, you want to fight, you want to call people out, you're ready to fight. You don't agree with them making you wait till this time, or they don't agree, you don't agree with them matching you up against this guy or that guy. But at the end of the day, you have full, you, you have to have control of being okay with not being in control. You know, I'm in a season of practicing patience right now, and uh, I'm just excited about the next the next one. They're going to keep lining them up. They're going to keep signing guys. I talk to them every other day. Hey, sign this guy, sign that guy. When's this guy a free agent? When's this guy a free agent? I want these guys. You know, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what what's next on my horizon. But I know it's going to be big things. I, I'm believing that I'm I'm in this sport for a reason. I'm in with I'm with this promotion for a reason, and. Uh, there's bright things, bright things coming in, uh, ahead in my future.